カラー幼鳥のプレゼントにいちごコスメチャクラールパッツオコ Hi みんな OK so now we're on いちご s accessories which includes her includes her gloves her choker her arm poofs the garter and the towel and the bell um so I used two different types of、uh, Uh, red for my、uh, tail bow and my gloves. I use a spandex for my gloves and a、uh, and just regular cotton、uh, red for my tail bow.、Um, I won't be making the pendant because I already have the collectible one. I'm just going to use that for my pendant. And I will not be doing any boot covers or spray painting boots because I already have a pair that I bought.、Uh, so, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so start off drawing your pattern. If you're not too sure on what to draw or if you just want to print this out, there's a link in my Deviant page、um, of what I drew for my bows.、Um, so, again, if you're not interested in drawing it yourself, you can just. Download it or whatever you copy it from my page.、Um, so the big, the back bow is bigger than the front bow just to give it the illusion that it's a tied bow, if that makes sense.、Um, so, yeah. Okay, so right here, just trace out your pattern. Make sure you leave a few inches for seam allowance, so don't forget that.、Uh, also, I folded my fabric right here as well, just so I don't have to worry about doubling it in the future.、Uh, right there, I'm pinning it because I don't want the pieces to get, you know, unfolded, if that kind of makes sense, so everything is nice and even. And then cut it out. Remember to keep seam,、uh, room for seam allowance. <laughs> This is、um, some. Oh, interfacing.、Uh, Usually, you're supposed to iron this on, but、uh, I'm not too good at that, so I just usually sew it on. Uh, because you know, I can't seem to figure out how to actually iron it on. I'm not, I'm not smart enough yet. <laughs> I need to learn more about interfacing. But if you know how to iron it, you, you can just iron it on. Make sure to only、uh, sew it to one side of your fabric pieces because then. Uh, if you sew it on both, it, it might be a bit harder to、um, fold, you know, like unfold later. So, right here, I'm sewing it. I didn't worry about、uh, flipping it over just because I'm going to be doing that anyway with the other side. I'm also trimming off the axis just so it doesn't add bulk to the bow itself, if you know that makes sense. <laughs>、uh, so, pinning it because I'm not good at sewing straight on and I try to make it look as、uh, evenly as possible. Along with kitties walking around. Make sure when you're doing that to leave a little bit 
unsewn because you're going to use that hole to uh, flip your pieces inside out so it gets a nice clean look to it. Right here I'm clipping off the edges just so it, the edges are nice and clean looking and it doesn't have that little, uh, little kind of bulky look to it. If, you know, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so what you're gonna do here is fold that and then uh, sew along it. I end up sewing all the way along because that it makes it have a cleaner look to it. I like to top stitch everything just as I said because it gives it a nice clean look and, ev and the lines aren't as bulky looking as they are right now. <laughs> Alright, so here is where you want to scrunch everything up. So, um, it took me a few minutes to wrap my head around scrunching it up, so I just kind of fiddling around with it until I got to where I was liking how it looked. And that took me a bit because I was just kind of, again, messing around with it. So, when you do that, uh, sew the inside around. This is a lot of fabric to work with, so, uh, be careful when you're sewing, try not to stab your hand through. I recommend using some tools to actually pull and push your uh, needle through. I didn't because I was really stupid. <laughs> so yeah, please be careful and use tools with this part. Cause this is a lot of fabric to put a little needle into. Also what I did too was wrapped around it. This is the little, oh kitty, this is the little, uh, little, uh, b -b -b thingy I use to, uh, wrap around my, t my, uh, my bow just to give it a nice clean look to it. Just so you don't see the, uh, sewing right in the middle. Now I wasn't committed to gluing on my tail to my, er, uh, gluing my bow to my tail, so what I ended up doing was taking another piece and, uh, sewing on some little clippy button thingies, and, uh, just hooking it on just like that. Uh, I did this with my old bell too, and my, you know, all the Ichigo tail bows I've ever had, because I'm not a full committer when it comes to hot gluing stuff to like furry stuff if that makes sense because I just it's not something I'm really into so this is another good way to do it if you're like me and not committed to gluing your bow to your tail I also sewn it onto my bow as well because again, I'm not really, I don't really like to hot glue stuff. It's because uh, mostly I don't really like hot stuff too much because of past events. <laughs> so I'm just more of a sewer than a gluer. <laughs> 